stuff, a fist I wash with wine. Speak to me on summer strolls, try to weather my hot colds. You know I hate it when you do that. Then why are you laughing? Oh God, stop making that Eliza face. Have you told me yet? Are you taking theory to the circus? I can't. I'm not going. But it's your award for MVP. What was Coach thinking? Giving us tickets to the circus. He's lucky I like him, otherwise I'd give them back. Maybe he wants you to find your inner clown. I don't have an inner clown. And if I did, it'd be locked up in a cage. Clowns distract you from training. And you know what they say. No, no train, train, no, no game. game. Where are you going? I have to get set up the goals. I'll help. I always do them by myself. I know, but I don't need your help. Okay. You know, Theo would enjoy the circus. What took you so long? I haven't used my bus. Typical. Hurry up! I don't uh, after the show, I have something I need to tell Come you. On. Sorry, welcome to Circus Sazza Frats. You sold the last two tickets. Bye. Okay, but does it make a difference that I have these? Ah, I've been waiting for you, very important person. Okay. It's just. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I should say, because there's a potential oh, bird, there's lots of dangerous Perfect. things around the VIP area. Come on. Make way. Make way. Accident. Yes. I'm Dr. Raisha and I'm here to help. Help with what? I'm sorry to say, but you have an injury and it's it's worse than you may think. I'm fine. Please. I'm sure it's just a bruise. It's not like I'll be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. I can't move my legs. I'll go get your mother. No, <laughs> no, don't get her. We'll talk about it some more when she arrives. I don't want her. I want to be alone. Eliza. Please leave me alone. Get out. Out now. I hope you understand. Of course. But I can't see you anymore. It's too painful. I think she called it an SCI, a spinal cord injury. I can't believe it. You'll be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. I know, Mum. I've been told. And what about soccer? You'll never be able to play again. This is an outrage. Everything I had planned for you. Gone. Your soccer scholarship to Stanford. Our future ruined. I don't need to be reminded about what I've lost. What I need to know is that you'll look after me and help me get better. I don't need to be told that I'll be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. Elle, I want you to recover and get better. I really do. But we have to be realistic. I want you to leave. Don't talk to me like that. You are not my mum. She left ages ago. Go on, get out. 
Theo. Yeah? Do you still want to be with me? Of course. Even though I won't walk again? Don't say that. You've never given up on anything. I'm a realist. I have no hope. I don't believe that. Then why haven't you come and visit me? I needed you. I've been busy. Busy? Too busy to visit me in hospital. What's really going on? Nothing. You're lying. I'm not. Calm down. I'll take you back. Don't touch it. Don't even look at me until you can tell me the truth. Do you want to be with me? You'd better leave. What? Um, excuse me? Oh, Miss Eliza. I'm Bob. How are you feeling? Confused. Who let you in? No one. Who let you in? I don't know. The doctors, maybe? I feel terrible and dizzy. Why are you dressed so funny? Well, I dress how I feel. And today was sunny, so I thought I'd dress up in my Sunday best. Do you like? I was expecting a much warmer response. Maybe a few laughs. Oh my, dearie me, why are you crying? W was it something I said? No, it's just everything. Why is life so hard and unfair? I put everything into soccer. And what do I get? A spinal injury and two useless legs. Eliza, that's why I'm here. To help you smile. Crazy but true, but it'll help. Dr. Roach says that if I don't get help, I won't recover. But I can't get help because... Why, Eliza? Because I'm independent and I do everything by myself. And maybe you will again, but not now. You need to let others... No, it's not me. I have a no one. Ever since Dad left, everything changed. He left and took everything. Me and Mum had nothing. We had only each other to rely on, to survive. And then she, Mum, became different. She made me like a champion, like a machine. She was no longer fun or caring. She'd say, I love you. It never felt like she meant it. I now know that I am independent and that the more I rely on others, the more I have to lose. I don't want to lose. I don't want you to lose either, Eliza. I'm extremely sorry about your dad. I, I know what it's like to be left by somebody you love. You feel empty and hollow, but trust me when I say everything gets better. I know that you may not want to hear a cliche, but I am a big Harry Potter fan and Albus Dumbledore is my hero. There's a beautiful quote of his that says, Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one, if one really only remembers, remembers to turn on the light. light. and that he knows what it feels like to have someone leave you stranded. And then he started saying something about Harry Potter and- Are you sure this was a dream? Yes, 
Well, I think so. I'm not sure. I hope it was. Well, then you have some wild dreams, Eliza. Anyway, I meant to ask, do you like being home? Compared to the hospital, I love it. Although, it will take some time getting used to being in the wheelchair. I was really looking forward to coming home and being able to do things by myself, but I'm becoming apprehensive of being a new person. I'm no longer the soccer star I was. I'm a 15 year old girl who's stuck in a wheelchair. What am I going to do, Judy? Hello, Eliza. I was hoping I found the right house. Your mum is an angel. No, she's not. Wait, you're real? What are you doing in my house? Is that Bob? The clown from your dream you're talking about? Why, yes I am. But from a dream, sadly no. I'm also a home doctor. I'm here to check on Eliza. How are you feeling? I was feeling fine. Would anyone like a drink, Eliza? No, we're fine. Okay, just sing out if you need anything. She is trying, you know. She treats me like I'm useless. I know this is a big adjustment for you. But it's also a big adjustment for your mum, too. You're on this journey together. And on this journey, there's lots of people who can help. Like doctors, and physios, and clowns. That's why I'm here. I heard you missed your last physio appointments. I'm here to take you in the clown car. <laughs> or better yet, you can get your mum to take you. If she wants to help. Isn't that right, Mary? I really want to be here for you. I know I haven't been the best mum for you, but now we really need each other. And I need you to know that I'm not going anywhere. And I know that you, you can achieve anything you want. And this, it's a big challenge, but if anyone can do it, it's you. Go on, give her a hug.